Here we go. Unsafe mine. Stay out. Stay alive. The tram went straight over the hill right there. How'd you like to live in that bad boy? We're in the Haunted Overland Hotel. Yeah, it was patented in 1916. That is cool. Looks like we got somebody up there making some chem circles. Looks like he's making one right now. That might give you a little bit of a clue which direction we're headed. Hey everybody, what's up? We're gonna go explore an old mining town today. A town left in time. We're in Nevada, not too far away from Area 51 or the Nellis Air Force Base, whatever you want to call it. That's where all them jets are coming from. There's mine ruins clear up on the mountain. There's mining ruins in town, mining ruins at the bottom of town. So we're gonna look at the town first and see how far we get. And then we'll go explore even more. So hang on, stay tuned in, let's go check it out. We're gonna go explore Pioche. It's an old mining town. I'm guessing it's pretty haunted. There was 72 murders in this town before anybody died of a natural cause. It was very, very wild west out here. We got an old tramway system behind me. So we're gonna explore the town, explore some old stuff like this see what we can get up close and personal with and have a good time we got our first animal sighting of the day here's here comes our friend shaft. Let's go see if these deer will let me pet them. Oh, you see me? I see you. Well, here's our first mine shaft of the day. We just pulled into town. Here's another one. Unsafe mine. Stay out. Stay alive. I can see another mine shaft right across the road. And then there's another one just over here off the side of the hill, it looked like too. Oh, and there's another one right over here I didn't see. Oh, and there's the deer. Holding still so I don't see him. <laughs> or he's looking at something across the road, I don't know. Are you that deer has not moved. Maybe it's a fake one. Well, he finally looked at me. What do you see over there? I see a big mine shaft right here. Holy cow. There's another mine shaft right there. And the one on the other side of the road, 
is right there. And that whole mountain's tore up. Lots of mine shafts up there, I bet. It looks like it goes down a ways. We have another large open mine shaft right here. We'll walk around and see if we get a better look down. We can get a better look down the shaft. can't see over the hill, maybe you can. I couldn't see, hopefully you did. Got our little raven buddy saying hi. This is the top of the aerial tramway. So the tram went straight over the hill right there and later we'll go see where the tramway heads to. In 1863, a Mormon missionary traded some food and clothing to a Paiute native in exchange for the location of the silver ore that he had been shown. A few years later, not happy with the white man's encroachment into the southwest, Raids and massacres threatened the miners, and the town was shortly abandoned until 1868, when F.L. Pioch bought several claims and built a smelter. In 1870, this mine produced over $1.6 million in high-grade silver ore, but for 10 years, the only law in town was a gun. In 1870 to 1871, 60% of all the murders in the state were right here. More deadly than Tombstone, Deadwood, and Dodge City. And here's the million dollar courthouse. You'll never guess, but this museum is closed. This looks like an old hand powered drill press. I don't know if you can see it, but this ore bucket has some interesting things welded to it. Got your classic horseshoes. Uh, what do you call those? for the horse and a big old cleaver some tongs oh metal shears there's an axe head over here oh shoot and if you forgot to open your bottle there's a bottle opener right there too and there's that axe head and my wife just said she wants to buy this house and live up here Think it's a good investment? Leave a comment. This is the old fire station. Still has the old bell up there. Too bad we can't ring it. Here, we'll look in the door and see if you guys can see anything. And it always seems like wherever you got some big money involved, you got a Masonic temple right in the middle of town. So I imagine that was built in 1873. With 10,000 people, 144 saloons, most of them having brothels upstairs, and four standalone bordellos, this town had a wild side. Okay, let's see if we can see anything through this window. There's some cool stuff in there. Got an old cast iron stove. A bed. Another old miner's shack. 
I'm gonna go look in the windows here too. Okay, I can't see anything, so you guys are gonna have to look. That's a pretty cool looking cast iron stove. I wish I could see the front of it, but I can't. It's in that house. Check out that old miner's shack right there. How'd you like to live in that bad boy? Doesn't look very roomy. Big enough for a bed and a stove. Place to take your boots off, hopefully. This is inside the old opera house. At least looking through the window. Too bad we can't go in there. Everything's closed. And now the haunted hotel and saloon, the Overland Hotel, featured on the Ghost Adventures. Boot scooting done here. No firearms, of course. And miners are welcome, but miners ain't. Bushwhackers, rustlers, and gunfighters will be served only cheap whiskey. <laughs> All women folk must be treated like ladies. There are at least five ghosts that call this place home. A little old lady that sits at the slot machine in the corner? Or a tall cowboy that walks from the dance hall out the back door? We're in the haunted Overland Hotel. Gonna go poke around a little bit. We got permission to come upstairs and hopefully look in one of the haunted rooms. Let's go look, honey. Okay. So this hotel has 13 rooms you can stay in and 13 slot machines that you can play. Must be some kind of a lucky number around here. And it sounds like at least three of these rooms are haunted. Room two, room eight, and room 10. And then the dance hall is also haunted. That is supposed to be the haunted room, room number eight. She said, look around for rooms that are open. Well, that was a nice piece of furniture. Well, this is a picture of the tramway. 
before, like all that wood is gone now. Oh no, okay. This is the ore chutes we were at. And then there was a big trestle built across basically the road that would dump into the trestle the ore chutes so it could go on the ore carts and head down to the smelter. Oh, there's another picture of that big ore chute with the trestle going across the road. There's a ghost. Right there. Ah! Um, I think it is a ghost. So if you want to stay at a haunted hotel, I'd say this is a good candidate for it. Lots of old stuff here. Lots of history. Just a good place to be if you want to see a ghost. Okay, back down this dark hallway. At the end of the hotel is the other haunted room, room 10. It looks scary from here. Lots of murals in this building too. That one's a nice one. I don't know if it's just a wallpaper or if somebody actually painted it. Well, I found an old miner's house right here. Got some concrete stairs. Leading up to a little structure. Just a little miner shack. There's a boulder with some drill marks in it. And this other boulder still has the ends of bits poking out the other side of it. Oh, maybe they just shoved them in backwards so you could see the bits. Hoist. There's an old rock drill. And that was probably a break for the hoist. Dang. That looks like a huge rock drill. Then you got your self-loading ore bucket. You just scoop the pile right in front of it and then dump it in the ore cart behind it. Uh, this is a giant air compressor, I believe. <laughs> yeah, it was patented in 1916. GP or CP.
Well, these mine carts are big. These two are about six feet long. I think that's the biggest ore carts I've ever seen. They're huge. Western Machinery Company, Los Angeles. I don't know what this big old thing was. Maybe it was a compressor too? Or maybe it was a rock crusher. I'm not sure. I'm gonna guess air compressor. Well, it looks like a little air compressor. And this was probably a blower to get fresh air down in the mines. Big air tank. Some pretty massive rivets in it. Got another old compressor here. This one's a Sullivan. Nice ore bin that would drop straight down the mine shaft. That used to be the old Wells Fargo Express station here in town. Later it became a saloon with the nickname of the Bloody Bucket Saloon. Well, it says that's one of the oldest buildings left in town. Built in 1872. Guess what? I found something that's open. Let's go check it out. We got tons of minerals on display. Okay, hopefully this shows up. These rocks glow in the dark. That is cool. We'll call this the big red fire truck. <laughs> Switch for yeah, we got an old phone, and then yeah, and then the really old phone. Yeah, well, believe it or not, that's it working. Do you know how to use one of these kits? 
You turn it. Oh, oh. kids are baffled by that. Well, look at my wife found. All the ones I had found were rusted. Mm. I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> Man, look at that big old phonograph. Wow. Look at her picture. So strange. With the one on the wall? Yeah. Let's zoom in on her. She looks... She looks a lot like the paintings we've seen at the Gar Ranch on Antelope Island. Yeah. I wonder if that's her grandma. Who is that supposed to be? Well, the sign says that's a 1928 Harley Davidson. There's an old race car in there, too. In the early days of Pioche, before anybody died of natural causes, there was 72 murders that happened in town, and most of them are buried right here in the Boot Hill Cemetery. Pretty wild town. Before anybody died of a natural cause, 72 people died from gunshots. 1870, 1870, And the tramway goes right over the cemetery. Pretty crazy. Shot by a coward. No one knew his name. Shot during a dispute over a dog. 1873. Well, John Bass looks like he was killed by the police. Shot him five times just to make sure he was dead. Can't read that one. But it's sort of crazy. I've never seen that before on a tombstone. Their name and then who they were shot by. Pretty different. Feared by some, respected by few. Detested by others. Shot in the back five times from an ambush. Wow. <laughs> but look, I'm right under the tramway now. Or car number 30. Those were some pretty interesting headstones. Very cool cemetery to look at. It's pretty sad that all these people were murdered though. This is in memory of the 1914.
Chinese residents of Pucci. Pioch, sorry. <laughs> Wish you could read that. Old mold, motor oil can. This headstone's made of bronze. They must have had some money. They're from Belgium. This one's from 1874. 32 years old. Augustine Lincoln. Some of these grave markers are pretty cool, like the fencing around them. This guy was definitely a miner, or related to some the mining industry somehow. This headstone has drill marks in it, like it was quarried out of a mine. Pretty cool. Looks kind of creepy. 1896. Eighteen ninety six. So cool when you can find these old structures that are still hanging on. They've withstood the test of time for now. But this tramway goes, I'm not sure how far down it goes, but it goes all the way up over that first ridge to a big uh, ore chute at the top where they were dumping the ore out of the mines and they sent it down here to the bottom to the smelter. I'm gonna guess these are the tensioners for the cable. They got some big crates. Look like they probably fill them full of ore. And it pulled down and tightened the cables. I think. But we're just below the cemetery. Oh. We got our fighter jets up there doing U-turns in the sky. I think I found it. And it is hard to follow a jet. There's still an old smelter building. Hopefully we can get near it. Bummer, no trespassing. Good thing I got a drone. Okay, well it turns out this is as close as I can get all together. This is a restricted flying zone. There's a detention center just down there on the other side of this mill and smelter. So I can't fly, so we're gonna have to zoom in on it. But man, look at that old thing. I'm sure it's got some stories to tell. And this is also where the aerial tram ends. Is that that's right at this building. Let's see if you can see the top of it. It's like right behind that hill. There's the bottom part of the tram.
Did you guys just hear that big explosion? Gosh, that place was massive. We got a really old phone booth right here. Almost looks like Bobby. Some danger steps right here. Let's see if I can make it up <laughs> for solid ice. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I made it. That was scary. This old town's so cool. Well, they definitely should put a no trespassing sign on those stairs. That was dangerous. <laughs> Lots of buildings for sale in this little town. Want to come live in some history. We've officially ran out of time today, but unlike other times, we will be back. So we'll see you back here next week. Thanks for watching.